it's one of the most feared groups in Afghanistan. The Haqqani network is known for launching sophisticated and devastating attacks, targeting the Afghan military, foreign forces and civilians. The death of the group's founder is unlikely to change that strategy. This week, the Taliban announced that after a long illness, Jalaluddin Haqqani was dead. The armed group says he'd been bedridden for several years. It's not clear exactly when he passed away. The death of Jalaluddin Haqqani won't have any effect on the Haqqani network because he's hardly been active since 2001 and especially in the last 10 years, as he was an elderly man. But before he was an enemy of the US government, he was a friend. Haqqani rose to fame as a leader in the war against the Soviets when they invaded Afghanistan in 1979. The guerrilla campaign was backed by the United States. Haqqani received cash and weapons from the CIA. After the Soviets left Afghanistan, Haqqani became an ally of the Taliban in the 1990s. He even became a minister when the group ruled the country. After Washington launched its assault on Afghanistan in 2001 and the Taliban was toppled, the Haqqani network began targeting US and foreign troops. Although the Haqqani network carries out attacks in Afghanistan, it's based across the border in the Pakistani province of North Waziristan. For years, the US has accused Pakistan's intelligence agency, the ISI, of supporting the network and its attacks in Afghanistan. Pakistan has always denied this, and in 2015, the government banned the group. But timing is everything. Haqqani's death was announced just one day before the arrival of US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to Pakistan. This week, the White House cut $300 million in aid to Pakistan, accusing the government of not doing enough to wipe out militants on its soil. Haqqani gave up his leadership of the network many years ago, allowing his son to take over. So what impact will Haqqani's death have on the violence in Afghanistan? And will the Taliban be weakened without him? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.